Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Classic large car garage. Today, we are working on the Freightliner. Getting this thing prepped. Gonna get it uh, pressure washed off. So we can get it sandblasted. Stay tuned. So here we are. Getting the pressure washer set up here. The Generac. We got the gas powered one out today with a little bit more pressure. And, <laughs> excuse me, I'm gonna do a shout out to our Midwest equipment people. Had a little issues with this last year. Haven't used it since then, but they got it fixed up, running for me real good. So they do a lot of small engines, lawn mowers, and also do some stuff with Generac and different uh, manufacturers like that. So thanks to them. And so now got the frame. It's got some original color brown here. Customer wants it all black since we're doing a bunch of other fancy stuff back to this thing. So we're going to get it to uh, soak down in some purple fire. <laughs> And then uh, we'll get uh, get it blasted off here. We got some grease and dirt and stuff like that. All up on the uh, transmission as well. Oh boy! <laughs> <Watch me. laughs> <It> scared me. <laughs> so we are gonna get that uh, ready. Get it going. We'll uh, set you up. And the uh, plan is, once we get this all uh, washed and dry, um, we got a mobile company coming. And they are going to, we'll just roll it out the back door here. And uh, it's eco-friendly material. And I believe they can do it um, using water so it's dustless or not. Um, so I think we'll probably opt for the, uh, without the water that way stuff doesn't get all gummy and nasty and stuff like that and stuck in places we don't want it so with it dry it'll be easier to blow out of the cracks and stuff and then uh, hopefully next week we can get it in and um, get it primed get it painted I and mean, we got um, got a bunch of other oh, pieces and stuff that we need to blast along with it here I'll show you some of those I think they're over here so we've got the bumper over there, the front bumper, and we had some um, some items made to kind of reinforce it, um, kind of make it a little bit stronger so she don't uh, do one of those going down the road because it's kind of hard. There's not a lot of areas underneath there to make a bracket, like an angled bracket to go from the bumper up to like uh, the suspension on these. So we're gonna, we got another cab over out there. Actually, you've seen it, the orange and tan one uh, that we named Wayne. Um, there's no supports behind the bumper on that one. They're just really nice, thick, hardy brackets that it bolts to, and it, it does really good. Uh, there's our front toe pin, and all that stuff bolts on. Um, we got our fifth wheel hitch under here. Had some uh, nice anchor D-rings welded on. Uh, let's see. That's a reinforcement plate for the battery box. There's the battery uh, hold downs. So, a bunch of other random pieces. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. That will... I did it. Stepped right in the dirt pile. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> Chaz is probably shaking his head back there. He don't care. <laughs> anyway, got to get that blasted so we can get that painted. Uh, got a lot going on with this truck, actually. We got a lot of the exhaust pieces have come in. Ooh, my hair. Got a lot of exhaust pieces coming in, and then we got to do that yet. Uh, we got a visor we got to put on it. Um, we've got aluminum guys that have showed up. Uh, this is not finished product. Um, here's finish down here a little bit more. Whew, look at the shine on that thing. So we've got them doing a bunch of polishing on it. Um, doing really good work uh, with these tanks and everything. I think there's a little bit more they got to do to this side yet. Um, and it's kind of dusty now because we've been doing some sweeping. We've got the grills, all that stuff needs to be polished yet. And uh, I can kind of show you that was that's the one tank that side's got to be finished, but it's looking a lot, a lot better than what it was. And I'll show you 
Because the other tank, I think, I think we're thinking that the tanks used to be painted to match the truck uh, with that brown color. Because on the back side of the tanks, we got this brown. So I think at one time, these tanks were painted like they, a lot of them were back in the day and uh, to match the truck. And somebody has sanded and stripped them at one point and polished them. Uh, but here's one that needs to be done yet. And here's the drives. They did the drives um, and the steers, which I can show you those two, but just looking primo. So, we'll get you all set up and we'll get this pressure washed off and get it prepped for media blasting tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's another beautiful day. Today, it's a Saturday, and we are going to, we've got the truck outside, ready to go, got the wheels off. Got it on stands, got the wheels chalked. So she's not gonna go anywhere. And I uh, got the engine bagged up. So we're gonna get this uh, frame blasted. Got a mobile blaster that uh, came to the shop here and got our table of extra goodies over here that we're gonna head up. Um, we'll show you the uh, business here in a second once he gets going and we'll uh, set you up on a time lapse. Uh, it's a little, a little dark on this side, but um, yeah. We'll get her all whipped into shape so we can get some paint on it. So we got the mobile media blaster using an eco-friendly material. And uh, he's got his trailer set up. Super nice guy. Got him over there working away at it already. And uh, so this is the setup, eco mobile stripping ink. And uh, yeah local guy so that makes it pretty handy for us but uh got a set up here on the trailer he's just uh going to town here
And here we are. Finished product. Got uh, Mark, this is his name, um, left already. And kind of went from this mud flat bracket back. That's what the customers were uh, kind of aiming for. And uh, yeah, got the frame blasted. Super clean frame to get begin with. It's got a little bit of, let me get out of the light. It's got a little bit of your scale here underneath where the original fifth wheel was, um, but that's okay, not a big deal, but got her cleaned up real nice all the way around, inside, outside, around the tanks there. So we'll get her in the shop over the weekend and we'll uh, get her primed and painted and uh, looking real good. Gonna do a, a nice, Nice primer on it, and then uh, and then we'll do some nice gloss black and uh, make her shine, make her shine, make her look good. So next uh, next item up for bids, get this thing uh, jacked up, put our wheels back on, and uh, get it rolled inside the shop there. I got uh, Wayne moved forward here inside the shop. Actually got a lot cleaned out here recently. Uh, got Freddie back outside sitting outside looking proud but i uh, got wayne pushed forward he's usually sitting back here so we can get uh get this truck in behind it um for the moment and then we can uh do some more shuffling when we go to paint it because uh this is definitely not going to stay inside here we're gonna do some priming and painting so got to get the wheels put on and then we'll get it aired up it's got a nice little governor um schrader valve right on the back of the compressor here. And uh, we can, you know, put a put a tire chuck on here, air it up, the whole system, release the brakes, and then we'll, uh... <laughs> it's just me, so it'll be creative, but uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get it in the shop. And uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll record that to see how well I do. So here we go. Okay, <laughs> so, still got our wheel chocks behind there, release the brakes, got a chain, just right around the axle, not going to be tugging hard, not going to be pulling hard, just a light pull to get release off of the wheel chocks, and then I'll move those inside the shop, and <clears throat> we will, uh, we're gonna try and get it on the flat here, and then from there, I will push it in, push it in a little farther by hand to where I want it. So hopefully this engine's not too loud, but we'll give you some real frame, real time, real fun. Uh, actually, get you, get you, get you the bird's eye view. How's that?
Thanks for watching for this portion. Um, that'll be it for the today. And we will return um, again. Let's see here. We've been getting a lot done on this truck. Um, off camera too. We have, uh, like I said, the wheel or the, not the wheel, but the aluminum polishing's going on. Um, we got a side box, toolbox that Travis mounted right in this area that we'll show you once uh, once we get the frame painted and get that all starting to put that back on. Um, but then these are the battery cables. So uh, customer wanted steps on the passenger side of the frame, but that's where the battery box was. So we got the correct size box and um, basically converted it into a battery box. Uh, Travis made a nice uh, battery hold down 
that's kind of our uh, supporting plate on the inside of the battery box. And then he made this nice uh, battery hold down and that we got some ready rod that goes through there. Um, so then we'll get that mounted. So we got, we got a lot going on off camera. Um, Travis has been doing a bunch of uh, new electrical here, new electrical. Um, just trying to get that all tidied up back here. It was a bit of a bird nest. Plus, we got some full fenders. I think they're maximizers, uh, the plastic ones that the customer had painted already. And then it's got lights, so we're gonna have lights going in there. So all new wiring back here from the front to the back. That way everything hooks up nice and we know it's gonna work from the start instead of trying to chase a bunch of uh, electrical gremlins. So, um, yeah, so don't know where this video is gonna end off, but if there's a cutoff here and then the next video is painting the frame or something, thanks for watching. Hit that like, hit that share, subscribe button, and uh, we do appreciate everybody that does uh, follow, everybody that does watch. Hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully that um, it can, for whoever used to drive these trucks back in the past, takes you down some memory lane, or hopefully, hopefully it's not bad memories, but good memories, um, just of the trucking days gone by. So once again, we appreciate it. And um, again, like I said, don't know where this is gonna end up, but if this is the end of the video, see you in the next one.